So, it's me and Cody. He's over there. Not Sylvie today, but um, she's doing. She's busy, so it's just me. And today I was like, I wanna do something with these jeans. So these jeans are from Forever Twenty One, and they're kind of big on me, and they're super flare legged at the bottom, like really big. And I only wore them once since I bought them. Well, I mean. Okay, I wore them twice. So I wore them to work. And then I also wore them, like, just to go out. But, really, I don't love them. I was like, maybe I can, like, give them, like, a new life. So, I've been seeing, like, anime jeans. Or, like, the jeans with, like, black and white writing. Or, you know, just different cool design jeans on Instagram. And I was like, that's kind of cool. And I was like, I want something like that. So, instead of buying them, let me try to make them. So the first thing I have to do is kind of tape off the half that I don't want to be bleached. So I got this heavy duty tape. I forgot the name of it. I don't know if you call it duct tape. Um, yeah, whatever. So, and I got a trash bag. So I'm going to open up the trash bag. side that I do not want bleached inside. I'm going to try to lay it as even as possible in the back and the front so that I can bleach it nicely. I'm going to try to get it kind of like flat. If that makes sense, I'm gonna take this heavy duty tape and put it right there where the seam is, and try to get it as like perfect around the seam. Like, uh, I'm acting like this is sort of real. This is my first time doing it, so I might even mess up. But you just try to get it like from what I've seen. You try to get it perfect around the seam so that you know it only bleaches what you want to be bleached. I also got a spray bottle and some bleach. That's gonna be for when I bleach it. I'm gonna dip it in a bucket and then any of the, like the hard to get parts, like the seam and everything, I'm gonna do a spray bottle. So, tape tape, tape tape. Okay, so now I kind of finished taping it off. As you can see, half is in the bag. And then I also taped inside the jeans just so I can be like sure that it's not coming on this side at all because I really don't want it to get on this side and then I have to, I don't know. It's going to be messed up. So yeah. So everything's taped off. Now I need to get a bucket. Get a bucket. Pour some bleach in it with some water because I think you're supposed to mix it so it's not too strong so it doesn't make like yellow spots or anything and then I'm gonna get a spray bottle for the parts that are closer to the seam on the back and the front so I can make sure it does get so <laughs> I'm gonna get a spray bottle for the parts that are closer to the seam so I can make sure that it does get bleached while still leaving the side nice and clear so I'm gonna come back and when I come back I'm probably gonna be outside because that's where I'm gonna do it because bleach has a really strong smell and everybody's home so I don't want to be coughing and sick so yeah okay okay so we're outside I got the gloves the bleach and a spray bottle so I'm gonna put my jeans down Okay, so I have the jeans laid out a bit. I'm gonna take the spray bottle, wet it, so that when I pour the bleach, it can penetrate it better. And also, um, then I'm gonna fill this spray bottle with a little bit of bleach and spray it along the seam. Y'all, unlike me, please do this on a day that it's not freezing outside, like literally freezing, because I have all this water in my hand, touching all this water, and I'm cold. Any 
I decided to put it under the faucet that I have outside only because it's gonna take forever with this little spray bottle and I was like quick 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 so let's move on for the bleach all over it I took this little pan like you know sometimes they use it for food because if I can put it in here it's shallow and even if I don't have too like a lot of bleach it'll just still coat evenly so I'm gonna pour the bleach in and then I'm going to do the spray along the side still because I do think that part is necessary. Oh, my spray bottle is not the best. I have to go like, take time. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just gonna spray along the seams. Like so. Spray along the seams like this until you feel like it's a nice clean line and doesn't really have a threat of soaking through to the other side. So right now I don't see any big difference. It's only been like a minute or two. So I'm gonna leave it in the sun for probably like 15 minutes, come back and see if that did anything. And then come back every few minutes until I see the change I want. Okay, me and Cody are back. Um, After I bleached the pants, they kind of didn't come out how I expected. Like, as you can see, it kind of carried over right here. And that happened a little in the back, too. Also, it's not the wash, like, the bleach I was going for. It's more, like, speckled. But it's really, it's actually pretty cute. I mean, the part where it got the most, like, bleach is on the bottom. And that's not going to be a big issue. Um, So we're just going to go with it. So now I'm going to try to put the get the transfers together so the next clip will be of me um going to print and then we'll be for back. the sake of the next step i'll just do it fast so anything that i want to put on these transfer papers i made black and white and i picked these characters i'll explain why later um and i'm going to print them from my computer onto these papers i only got five which is kind of sad so i'm gonna have to buy more for this project but this is what we're gonna start out with and i'm just gonna do the characters first and then if i need to do the words on transfer paper i'll do that but i'll just get the characters done and yeah then we'll As move you can on. see this is like gives you the how to put the paper in and then how to set up your printer um yeah i have a printer that should be able to do this but it's the the problem is, I don't know how to put the paper, like this side or that side. Even after reading the instructions, I'm not 100% clear, so I'm going to try. But once again, these are the instructions, and this is how you print it. So let's see. I'm going to try one, so I don't oh. mess up. I'm just going to insert the paper, like so, into the machine and it's working so i'm gonna try to print one and we'll come back um okay so i'll do the huey one first um if this one works i'll just do the rest then come back if not i'll show you the mistake i made and how to fix it so i'm gonna do print that's cody then layout Pages. So we're gonna color jet and then more settings. Okay, so we have margin, scale, two sided options, paper size. We have more. Um, hmm. Scale. I don't see anything that says media. Give me a So as you guys can see, it did indeed print. Um, It's a little more blue than it is on the computer. Like, not, I don't know if blue is right. It's, it's kind of a different shade, but it's cute. So I'm going to just keep it. I'm going to try to print the rest and we'll come back.
I'm back from literally cutting out every detail of this picture. Alright, because I think that if I don't, the white part will transfer onto the pants, which is not what I'm looking for. So, I'm doing the iron on, so I'm putting my iron, plugging it in. I'm just struggling. Turning it to cotton. Cool. So let's go back to the thing. So I have to peel liner from the back. So you see, it has this and then a liner. Just gonna peel it off gently because this design has 104 crevices. Water is still warming up. I'm going to iron this spot. I'm about to put it in. So you want to iron the spot you're going to put it on because so it can be nice and straight, no wrinkles, no bubbles, because if there are wrinkles now, there are going to be wrinkles in this picture, and that is not what you want. They say put a pillowcase down under it, but um, because this is like, kind of like, um, because of the type of table I'm using, I won't need to do that. Yeah, they said to put a pillowcase down. So I took it off, and if you're trying to figure out why everything's so messy, it's gonna make sense. Yeah, if you're trying to figure out why everything is messy and stuff, um, I just got a lot going on. So peel the liner, place printer transfer into the fabric, print that up, and cover completely with parchment paper. I'm gonna place this parchment paper. Place it on top. Use your iron drag iron and circular motions. Okay. So Three to two minutes, you're just going to press this iron down all over it because you do want an edge like mine, you kind of want to straighten it out as you go with the iron on it. And you don't want to have any water in this. It's 509, so if you have the heat press, that will probably make this 10 times easier. I want a heat press, but I gotta first make enough stuff that I need one. Okay. So now it should be done. I'm just gonna off. Yeah, it looks dope. 
Um, it looks nice. So definitely gonna have to cut the white parts out, cause if you don't, then you're kind of gonna get the white part on here. So keep that in mind. In mind as you do it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to complete the. I'm going to turn off the camera and be back when I finish. Okay. I finally finished this whole side. All the characters are on there. So I'm going to do something like painting to this side. And that's kind of why I'm, I had so much stuff on the thing. Because this right here is the fabric paint. This is all the fabric paint. And I'm going to do that next. And I think... After that, I'm gonna cut the bottom and start to distress it. But that'll be the next step. So this is gonna be kind of hard to um, film. But okay. what I'm gonna do is paint a white square. Don't be like me, I got paint on my hands. Didn't even open the bottle. I was just squeezing it, playing around. This happened. So I'm gonna draw like, I'm gonna make the whole pocket white. So this, will be white. I'm going to draw a white square right here. I'm going to use the paints. There's one in titanium white. And I'm going to... Where's the ruler? I have a ruler somewhere. But yeah, use a ruler and then I'm going to sketch it out with a pen. So let's see. is like 12 a.m. I'm still working on the jeans. I'm going, of course, a lot of it will be done tomorrow. Whatever. But I just wanted to add in this step. So I'm fraying the bottoms. Like this side I already pretty much complete. Completed. So I'm moving on to this side. And as you can see, I've got some of it done. It's kind of tedious because you have to so you cut these little slits and then after you cut these slits you have to take something like this or a scissor or a fork if you're doing a fork for instance you're going to do like this and if you do the exacto knife you're going to do like that and just yeah, it takes forever. Like, this alone is most the time on the pants. It took longer than the prints. And I had to cut the prints out individually by hand. Oh, and tip. Hair that is shaped like this is easier than hair that is shaped like this. Or this. Or that. This one is the hardest. The more detailed the hair, the longer it will take to cut out. Just day so, three, yeah. a new day, a new step. Really, in actual time, it's been like four days, but this is day three for the video. So, anyway, Doo -doo -doo. I painted the pocket as I probably showed earlier and painted the little side slit that I put on them. Okay, so next. I'm going to paint some letters on this side, and I think I'm going to put some sparkles around it. Um, so what you're going to do... Oh, I forgot my face is not in it. So yeah. So what you're going to do is print out what you want to print. This is... I printed several different copies, like, for the sizing references, but anyway. So, I printed out Hotter Than Your Waifu. I think I'm pronouncing it right. You guys might know it's pronounced differently. I don't... I'm sorry. Anywho. Um. Yeah, so you're gonna print this out. Get a cutting board. And 
an exacto knife and oops right back just watch my pony How were they? They were good? Were you good? Great. Okay. And freezer paper. This is an old roll of freezer paper. I don't know. I bought a new roll. Can't find it. So we're going to use this. Of course, I'm going to cut off what is tattered. Okay, we're going to get freezer paper. Big piece. And we're gonna use this to make a stencil for the lettering. If you're like me and you don't want to freehand, because I don't know, I like this font and I'm not sure I would freehand it the same way. So you're gonna get this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the letters under the freeze paper on top of the cutting board. So this is my cutting board right here. I'm going to slip it under and it's going to be like that. And then I'm going to use my exacto knife and trace out the letters. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to do it off camera only because it's really tedious and time consuming. But I'll come back and show you how to do the next step. Later! When you get your stencil down, that's when you're going to go get your paints and your brushes. And I think I'm going to use black. Just because I did black and everything else. I'm going to actually add some yellow, like those yellow stars, but not right now. So I'm just going to do black. And I'm just going to fill in everything. So I got this paint set. It was pretty... It was a pretty good price on Amazon. It was black. Mm, here we go. It comes with this. So let's see. Let me squirt some paint out. Just one more go over. Make sure it's sealed. You don't want to have any accidents. And Start painting. So, once it's all dry, you can just take the stencil, pop with more grace than I'm doing it. But yeah, just take the Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm just gonna try to hold it up. So this is this side. 
and you see I added like highlights or shadows underneath under the words and I added like this style and stuff that I said I was gonna add this side you already saw it I added a little distress in here oh yeah and distress in here and then I did this it says blurred booty you get it black nerd Miss like the booty part. Cool. Okay. Anyway, they're cute. Um, I'm gonna put them in a washer so the distressed parts can like you know that do the thing where like the bottom gets like more shriveled up than this, than this. So yeah, but overall, I like them. I can't wait to wear them. Yeah. Okay. Later.